Um, hi YouTube, it's me Sean. Um, I just wanted to do like an update like on how I'm doing and everything. Um, I am currently doing okay. I'm okay for the most part when I, um, it helps me to talk about Emmanuel, my son, um, and instead of trying to hold everything in, like, um, you know, wh whatever I'm feeling at the moment. So I don't plan on making this like my online journal, um, about, you know, my feelings and everything, even though I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person that is going through it, but, um, going through a loss like the one I am going through. Um, but I did have a, like I just said in the last video, I did have a, a memorial service for him. Um, excuse me. I did have a memorial service for him. Um, we, and uh, he was, actually he's in, Tro where I'm from in Ohio, he, well not from, but where I live for the longest. That's where we um, decided to, um, uh, put him to rest at, and, um, yeah, and I missed a week of school, and I have, like, awesome classmates and stuff, and, and you know, they are helping, me, and not so much helping me, like, some of them are offering, you know, their notes, and, um, their tape recorders, and, you know, teachers are, the teachers are, you know, working with me and everything, um, like, I don't know, things are starting to, like, I don't, it, honestly, it's been two weeks, sorry if I'm, like, scatterbrained, but I'm trying to put, I wasn't going to do a video, but I figured, I don't know, I, I just update, like, how I'm doing now, and, um, but yeah, it's hard to believe it's been, like, two weeks, like, I just realized that today, I actually, um, will be able to talk to someone about how I'm feeling. I have a, like, right now I feel okay. Like, I'm not, like, uh, sad to the point of, like, I'm crying, like, every night. I don't cry every night. Um, I think about him all the time, and I do think about what if he was here and everything else, and, um, I think that's when I get emotional, but, um, but, yeah, and so far, I think, like, my most difficult time was when my milk came in. That was really hard to deal with because of, you know, the whole reason why it came in is not, you know, it didn't get, that purpose didn't get fulfilled. So, you know, that kind of made me emotional at the time. Um, but that was, like, um, last week, and now it's. It doesn't, I don't, you know, have that issue no more as far as, like, with the milk leaking and all that stuff. Um, um, let's see. I have a good support system. My husband has been awesome. He's been there for me. And I talk to him the most about, you know, how I feel. Um, my family, my friends, my church, everybody's been very supportive. Um, and what else was I going to say? Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I just I have, like, so many emotions I'm going through right now. And I think the biggest one is that, you know, because a lot of people, you know, when this happens, a lot of people say, oh, you know, you can still have another one. Which is true. You can have another child. I won't replace the one that you had, or that you carried, you know, but you can have other kids. And I just, I don't know, like, I want... I want my child, my first child, but since that's not possible, it's like I, I'm kind of apprehensive about having another child, not because I don't think I love my child as much as I did my firstborn, because, you know, you like, you have like this, this bond with your firstborn, because that's, you know, the first, your experience with growing a life inside of you, and I just feel like another I don't feel like I'll be as close to another child because um, of what happened this time around. Like, um, 
I don't want to, I, I, I feel like right now today, like if I had another child, like I wouldn't be as close because I'd be scared it'd happen again. Or I would be close to the child, but I don't know. I don't know if I'd be kind of detached at the same time because, you know, I'm still grieving my firstborn and yeah, I just, I don't feel, I don't know. I'm not ready one to conceive again or to try to conceive again. And um, we've talked about it because, you know, like we talked about it because it was on our mind because we have to think about, you know, birth control and what do we, what do we want to do about that. And um, I had to talk to the, I go to my um, postpartum checkup, which is really a two week, not a six week checkup. I go to that on Monday. And um, so we have to come up with something. Uh, we don't have to use birth control. But as of right now, like, we're not planning on you, me taking any contraceptives because of the side effects. And, um, which my doctors also said that, you know, it's not ideal for married couples, like, not to, you know, use other methods than condoms because, um, you know, it's always like, oh, I forgot the condom or, you know, things happen, you know. And during this three-month period, at following me giving birth to Emmanuel, um, I'm more fertile now. So, so yeah, so we haven't, we, so far we're just like, we're going to do the old fashioned way as far as like contraceptives and, um, but yeah, so, but our goal, our plan is to wait at least a year, year and a half to, at most two years before we actively try to conceive again and um um I'm trying to think there's something else um yeah I think that's it um I don't know I guess after giving birth and everything um besides the milk coming in and it hurting and everything when it came in and when it left <laughs> I'm also like having issues with my um, stomach, like, bowels or whatever, you know, stomach, and I'm also having, like, I don't know, like, at times I can, it's, I think, I call them phantom feelings, because it feels like a flutter when I was pregnant, and I'll get them from time to time, but not often, um, and, yeah, my stomach, it was going down, but now it's, it's sticking out a little bit more, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess all my my issues I have, not issues, but all my things that I'm going through right now that I are like emotional and um yeah. So that's it. I just wanted to give a, an update. I'm going to try to re-engage myself in the YouTube world again and um and everything else. And I find it better to like get back out there and like I could you know I could have took off a semester for school to deal with it but I it's better to get back out into what you were doing before not to forget about it but just to get through the, the day like get through the next day because like honestly if I didn't have if I wasn't in school or if I didn't work for my dad or whatever I would be depressed like seriously I'm not depressed now, but I would be depressed. I'd be in the house all the time, and I'd just cry and be in my bed. Like, I I think it really helps to get back out there and to try to work through my grief. And so I'm finding things that help me, like, deal with it. But like I said, I'm going to be talking to somebody professionally and um about what I'm going through to help me too. And, um... And I think that's it. Um, I don't know. I my next video probably won't be um, um, for a while because I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I don't know. Um, I don't know anything right now. I just just wanted to do an update now about how I'm feeling. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I, my I guess since I'm I'm. I'm still a mom, but I'm not a active mom, so I don't have 
like everything that I said I was going to do a video about on YouTube, I can't do right now. Um, as, but as far as like my nursing school journey, um, once I kept, you know, catch up from what I missed and deal with what I'm going through emotionally from what, from what I went through with my son, then I'll be able to well, not deal with it completely. But once I get like a little further along in my, in this month or next month or whatever to where it's not still fresh, then I'll pick up with nursing and how I'm doing and, you know, just track my um, nursing journey and whatever new things that happens in my life. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That's all I'm going to say. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Um, oh, I want to show my bracelet too. I got this bracelet. It says peace. So I wear it every day. To remind me of Manny. I call him Manny. His name's Emmanuel, but I call him Manny. And, um, so yeah. I wear it in his remembrance and honor and everything. So, alright, well, I'm, I'm rambling now. So, I will, um, um, hit our update later. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.